Yeah, I'm going to do that. There's Yeti. Uh, but the way I'm going to do it, it's not the money supply. It's interest rates. It's interest rates that will cause the dollar to go up or down. So that is roundabout connected to the money supply. I would imagine you're either taking the SIE or the 65, and I will link to an economics lecture. But when interest rates go up, it causes the dollar to be strong. And when the dollar is strong, it has, in terms of the balance of trade, it causes U.S. imports to rise. right? Because if the dollar is going up, I buy more tequila. right? If it takes 10 pesos to get a bottle, uh, dollar, and now it's 20 pesos for a dollar, I get my $40 tequila is now $20 tequila. Now, if I'm selling uh, my Mexican friends, you know, AMLO is the Presidente down there. He's building a, an airport and a train in Yucatan and an oil refinery. And, uh, you know, if our Mexican friends want to buy Caterpillar bulldozers, it's going to take them twice as many, uh, you know, pesos to do so. So when interest rates go up, that is part of what the Fed has been doing lately. They're taking a pause. They're contracting the money supply. And typically when the money supply goes uh, down, interest rates go up and tools of the Fed are testable. But that's what that looks like. Now, when the dollar goes down, now it's easier for Boeing to sell their airplanes and Caterpillar to sell their uh, bulldozers. So a weak dollar causes U.S. exports to go up and uh, U.S. imports to go down, right? Because now it takes me more dollars to buy my scotch or my, my European wine, whatever the case may be. And again, that's tied into, I, you say import or export, but yeah, the way we sometimes ask on the test is the balance of trade. And whether it's a trade deficit or a trade surplus. So a strong dollar uh, leads to a trade deficit and a weak dollar uh, leads to a trade surplus, even though I hate that because, you know, I'm an economic geek and I don't really think it's necessary to, that you would have deficit. In other words, I kind of like the strong dollar because I buy tequila, but, you know, other people, that's going to be bad news. 